What are you doing? First thing I want to talk to you about of what we got here. We have the feeder land feeder arm. So I suppose it's made up of three, maybe four different pieces. So there's the the connection for your leg, which is open from any any diameter. Uh, I suppose you can see it there opening. Um, so it's going from I suppose a twenty six mil leg to a twenty five mil, well a twenty mil leg or whatever, even even narrower. Like, I don't know whether you can see that on the on the camera, but. It's like your leg is thick as your finger. It's open too. Then there's this big alloy wheel. So for position there's a tile that goes it goes from twelve o'clock to six o'clock. Easiest way for me to explain that. Right. Then we have these uh, quick release clips so the only other way I can explain them is quick release clips for uh, uh, bicycle wheels. Um, I've seen them on that, so they kind of open and close fairly easy. You can, there's a, a an Allen. You can see it in this one, maybe an Allen key nut, but you you can also loosen them more with your hand. But if you need to, and I don't think you don't need to use an allen key to loosen them or to tighten them right so uh, just let me pull this out because they are comes out easier than that i'm just being awkward here uh, and i'm trying not to mark my table uh, so i suppose then you have this is the bank stick that comes with it it's about it's about three inches. I'm sure there's a longer one there, but it comes with one as standard for three inches. Uh, I've also got the Silverfish Rest, which for me last week was was a gift. You know, I kind of put my rod here and I was able to move it. And when, when, you, when you think of it like this, it's probably about 14 inches long, 14, 15 inches long. Put out at my tip was like a two, three foot arch more. So I moved it a meter at a time to induce bites. Uh, so for me, it was a very, it was a very good uh, rest. And I was able to just move it a little bit and keep in touch with the tip uh, because there was a big toe on it. So, and then I suppose I just, this moves in various angles so I can switch it around if I want the rest out there or if I want the rest. For me, I used the rest out there uh, and it was, it was perfect for getting to the millimeter of a ring on the rod where I had stability where the rod didn't slide it didn't move so this this bar here is a great a uh, great concept for moving this rest around to any way you choose uh, and again it tightens up with just the squeeze so it's handy you know you don't need to tighten it too much I, I just got a feeling there that that was a little bit tighter than than i'd like because i had to squeeze but there you go like that's it's only a little bit of pressure there and that's not moving anywhere and the same when this goes in here Right, I loosened that up, but if I just tighten it there, it's only a little bit 
of pressure and that's not moving within that. The same with this, very easy to release and to tighten, you know, and then I suppose the biggest, I don't know why it's designed, but it has a bit of a curve on it, uh, but it's good, so I suppose it can also be turned upside down, so if you want to fish right side of your box or left side of your box, you can. I suppose the different you can you can fish it the right hand side with the bend out as well. The difference is if you're fishing it with the curved in, uh, your wheel is going to be underneath. You're losing the wheel, and I assume that the feeder land bracket is on this side uh, because it's for a left hand leg. I uh, didn't know what I was saying there. It's on that side for a left hand leg and to strike from the left, which is where I'm most comfortable. I don't like striking that way. I think I'm more effective coming across my body rather than going away from my body. Um, but that's it. All in all, it was it cost eighty five pound sterling, right? Uh, for me, it was well worth it. You know, again, last week I got second in the match, and I know the dude, uh, and I hope I pronounced him right, Fabian. Uh, Fabian, we'll just go with the Fabian, we won't even try and pronounce or do his surname in injustice. He came second in the match as well, and he's using this, and I think it's. A little bit more stable and I know there's probably plenty of stable rod dresses out there uh, the one I was using before prior to this is the Ockbox and I thought that was the bee's knees till I got a hold of this you know and yet yeah, maybe I am a tackle target but you know look I'm not gonna be on this air for a blade a long time so I'm gonna be comfortable and I just thought the week before me rod was blown all over the place on the rest and it wasn't on the Ockbox, it was just on a Preston uh, rod rest. This week it didn't blow all over the place, you know, and I, the week prior I missed probably the same amount of bites as I hit, if not more, uh, and this week I hit more bites than I missed, you know, so for me, that proves that this this rest was better for me. I'm not saying it's better for anybody else. This is done with Jura Jura aluminium. Uh, so I, I'd like to know what the weight is, because uh, there is a little bit of weight in it, but you have steel blocks well it's dura aluminium you know but at the end of the day there's still a bit of weight in it i mean if i, if I caught that as a fish i think it was a easy a two pound fish probably more you know so there is a bit of weight in it but in today's day and age like we we nearly push everything to our pegs. So, and, and this this is a handy little thing here on it, the washer. So I can spin the washer up and screw it right down to the base, or I can screw the base down, do you know what I mean? And, ha and not have that washer tied to the rod rest. Uh, it's just something else, you know, they're marked close for it in. It's a good bit of kit. It is a good bit of kit. Now, if I was to, if I was to find any negative uh, points about it, which I don't have, I'd be saying like, why have aluminium nuts and bolts on it and not give you the aluminium key for it? 
you know. So I didn't get an aluminium key for it. I don't know whether that was an oversight or whether nobody has got an Allen key, but that's the only thing I would ask. Why put, and I think they're different sizes, some of them. So why put Allen keys on it? Treads, nuts, whatever you want to call them, and not supply one of them. Where, and this is handy, like, you know, it's, it's a windy, out concept I don't know the terminology on yet you know but look you get what I'm talking about so it doesn't matter whether I have the name right or wrong you know it's easy enough to screw tight or to screw loose whichever way you want and I just noticed on the inside of that as well as a little aluminium nut which a little aluminium tread so yeah look that's the rest i have a little bit of video footage there that i i took it's probably not the best but if you were asking me to give it a score out of 10 honestly a score out of 10 on it with one being totally shit and 10 being totally awesome uh, i'd have to give her a i'd have to give her a nine and maybe an eight an eight and a half right because it, it, it would get nine if i got alan case right so that there's me piece so alan case where it, and it deserves a nine and i'm only saying nine because uh, I would give it a 10, but then there's no room for making it any better, and I think there's always room to make stuff better. Uh, you know, but I really like this sort of design on it, so I can have it there, there, out that way, you know, whichever, straight on, I can have it to the side, I can have it played and back in on top of myself if I really want it, you know, I like the versatility of that and how simple it is to click closed. So yeah, look, I think I've done enough waffling for this, but you know, I like feeder land stuff. I have some of their feeders, old cage feeders, bullet feeders, mini feeders, which I think are great. Uh, you know, two K, two whole cage feeders up to thirty gram. You can use it as a to introduce a little tiny bit of feed in uh, and fish it as a bomb. You know, uh, and I have them up to fifty gram in in three cage feeders all the way up to five whole cage feeders. So you know, and look, I'm not. I'm buying this. I'm not getting these off them. This is by no way means sponsored by any of the guys in Feederland. I buy this myself, you know, so uh, I think it was 85 euro well worth, you know. Look, at the end of the day, I was fighting for a, a place in the league on Sunday and also to win the match. Uh, I got beaten in the match to come second by, I don't know, 300 grams or something. And, and then the same person beat me into second in the league for me to come third in the league. So I came second in the match and third in the league. And so technically, I probably have already paid the 85 pounds sterling for this in the winnings on both second in the match and third in the league on Sunday. So for me it was a win-win situation and I have a rod rest feeder arm that I'm very very happy with and will use it a lot more than any other rest that I've had. Anyway if you've uh, checked this out and you like what you see please like, share, subscribe 
put it out there. I know there was a bit of controversy in the biased and unbiased uh, post on Facebook. Um, so I will put this into it. Just I said I would a few days ago when I when I when I decided I was gonna buy it, and I will put this video into it because you know I also have a knockbox feeder arm, and I thought it was great, but and it's a little bit lighter, but it there's a couple of parts to it. So when you add them all together, it's probably as heavy as this. Uh, and this is just a lot more versatile than the other one. So, yeah, on that note, I'm going to shut me gob and let's just get on with it. Thanks for coming. Catch you on the journey. Good luck, folks.